Hey, so in the last tutorial, what we did was we created our login.html page. It should look like this over here. Here, I'll actually make it full screen for you. So just make sure it looks like this. And if it doesn't, just go to the previous tutorial and go back over it and see if you may have missed something and then come back to this video. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do the signup.html page. So I want you to go over here and where your directory is and create a new file and just call it signup.html. Now in here, for now, just put an h1 tag and inside of the h1 tag, just say something like hello and save it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because if you remember in the previous tutorial, when we clicked sign up for free, it would just show a 404 error or you know some sort of error message that stated that the file did not exist. Now, when we click it, we get this because it says hello and we actually have the file created. So this is gonna be the file that we're gonna be working with today. So now that you have this file created, what I want you to do is go to your login.html uh, file, and I want you to copy your entire header tags. And then I want you to close that file because we're not gonna need it anymore. So go ahead and create your HTML uh, tags and then paste in the header tags that you copied over from the login.html uh, file. Then under that, go ahead and create your body tags. And inside of your body tags, we're gonna go ahead and start working on our, um, on our signup page, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a container. So go ahead and create a div. We're gonna give it an ID of sign up, And we're going to give it a class of form container. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with a header tag. And we're gonna say sign up. I'm gonna make it two words in my case. So I'm gonna save it. And I'm going to refresh over here. And now you can see it has all of the styles that we had previously. Now, like I said in the last video, I'm actually using a live server for this. Um, you don't have to use this. Um, you can just save over here. And every time you want to see your changes, come back over here and click refresh. If you want to see how to install this, uh, just let me know in the comments and I will help you out with that or create a tutorial for that. But for now, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to reconnect it. That way, whenever I save over here, you can see the updates happen immediately. Cool, so I'm gonna give this h1 tag a class of header. And now I'm gonna save again. Below that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a horizontal row. And I'm gonna go ahead and start creating our first, um, our first form group. So this is gonna be the email. So give it an ID of email. And then give it a class of form group, which is our bootstrap class. Now, if you remember in the last video, we were using data hyphen step, and I didn't exactly explain what it is that means yet, but I kind of hinted at it. Now in the next video, we're gonna be working on the JavaScript for this, so don't worry about it yet, but just think logically. The first step in a signup process is typically entering your email, so we're gonna put status step equals, equals one, because it's the first step in the process here of our uh, signup. So let's create a label and just leave it empty for now and we're going to create an input let's fill out the input first and then we'll go back up to the label so the id for this is going to be email input the type is going to be equal to text and the class is going to be form control which is again a bootstrap class now we have an id of email input so i'm going to go ahead and come over here and in the label put four equals and then use that id now inside of here we want to say enter your email because that's what we want the uh, user to do inside of this input, the label. So if you come over here, you can actually click on your label and it will automatically select the input for you. So now they're connected properly. So I'm gonna make sure there's good separation between each of these so you can see everything clearly. So the next input that we're gonna wanna create is our email verification. Now when you're signing up, you know, you enter your email, but you could enter a typo and you wanna just make sure that the user entered what they expected they entered so in the next step of the sign up process, we want them to type in their email again, just to make sure that they um, don't have any typos. So we're gonna say email verification. And the class is gonna be equal to form group. And we're gonna use data step equals two because it's the second step of our sign up process. Go ahead and create an empty label. And below that, create an input. And the ID for this input is going to be email verification input. And it's gonna be type equals text. And we're gonna give it a class of form control. Good, so in the label, we're gonna say, we wanna put um, 
confirm your email. And of course the four is gonna be equal to the ID that we have here. So let's paste that in here. Save that, make sure that that works, confirm your email. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now remember, if you remember the very first video that I uploaded when I demonstrated what it is we're gonna be looking at, right now we're not gonna worry about hiding the other inputs. So if you remember, it's gonna just show enter your email and there's gonna be a next button underneath it. And when you enter your email and you click next, it's gonna to go to the very next step in the signup process, which is confirm your email. But for now, we're just gonna let all of these be displayed because that's all JavaScript related. So for now, just don't worry about the fact that it doesn't quite look like what it does in the demo and just keep following along and we'll get to it, I promise. So the next part that we're gonna to wanna to do is the, is the password. So the ID is password for this div container. Class is a form group. And of course, this is gonna be data step equals three because it's the third step in our signup process. Now create some paragraph tags, but leave them empty for now. This is gonna be what we're gonna be putting our password requirements into. So give it a class called password requirements. Now again, I just wanna leave this empty for now because I'm gonna explain our password requirements and then um, we're gonna put them in afterwards because I just wanna focus on our inputs and labels just for now. So I'll go ahead and create an empty label and below that create an input. Go ahead and give this input an ID of password input. Type is gonna be equal to password and I think we wanna of course give it the class of form control. Great, so that's our password input, except for our password requirements, which we'll get to in just a moment. So underneath that, just like we did with the email, we're also gonna wanna verify the password. So we're gonna wanna give this an ID of password verification. And we're gonna wanna give it a class of form group, but it's also the final step in our signup process. So remember what we did last time, we also gave it a, a class of final. So put a space after form group and put final so that we give it both the form group and the final class. Now it's also the fourth step. So give it a uh, data step of four. Cool. So inside of this container, let's go ahead and create a label, an empty label and an input. And by the way, guys, I forgot about this, this label up here. We'll come back to that in a second. Let me just go ahead and finish up this input. So the ID for this input is gonna be password verification input and it's going to be type equals password and of course class equals form control now let's go ahead and do our labels for our password stuff so here go ahead and copy your id for your password input and paste it as the four equals here then what we're going to do is we're going to say create a password now for our password verification We'll go ahead and copy the ID for that input, put it as the four equals here, and we're gonna say um, confirm your password. So now we have the labels and inputs that we need. So now that we're this far, um, we can see all of the inputs, and that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted. That's how far I wanted to get before we work on the uh, password requirements. So in between your paragraph tags, we're gonna go ahead and put some password requirements. Um, the basic requirements of a strong password is we're gonna say password. Actually, one, one rule that we wanna go ahead and put is password cannot contain spaces. Um, one good step for a secure password is password must be at least eight characters. Um, it must contain at least one digit, one lower case letter, and one upper case letter. And you can use the following symbols. We're gonna do an exclamation point, an at symbol, a number symbol, the dollar sign, the and symbol, and those are gonna be the symbols 
that people are going to be able to use for their password. So this is going to be our criteria for a strong password. And as you can see over here, now you can see the requirements for the password um, directly above create a password. Now keep in mind that this paragraph, these password requirements are actually inside of the container for password. So when we aren't on that particular step, step three, you're not going to be seeing the password requirements. So just keep that in mind um, as you kind of look at this and think that it looks kind of uh, pushed together and a little bit ugly. Just remember, it's going to look different once we start working on the JavaScript. It's going to look a lot cleaner, okay? All right, so underneath our password verification div container, we want to go ahead and like we did in the last uh, file, we want to create a paragraph tag with an ID of error message. Now remember what that does. Uh, it's going to contain any information about errors that we have in our um, in our signup process. Now, I'm going to put in the link in the description below to the uh, username of the person who gave me this uh, suggestion, and they are correct. We don't want to give the exact error message um, that we get from the server and place it inside of the paragraph tag. Instead, what we want to do is we want to take that error message and say something like, you entered... Um, an incorrect password or an invalid password or passwords don't match or something like that. We don't want to give the exact error from the server. Just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a heads up on that. So for now, we're going to leave this empty because we're going to be, be putting JavaScript inside of these paragraph tags. We're not actually going to hard code anything inside of it for now, okay? So below that, let's create our button. Give it an ID of back button. Uh, actually, no, our back button is not a real button. Uh, it's gonna this is gonna be our next button. So give it the BTN and BTN primary class just like we did in the last video and the text for this is actually gonna be next. So let's go ahead and put next here. But let's also give it some classes. Uh, I apologize this shouldn't be ID it should be class. Let's also give it an ID okay The ID is going to be next button. So go ahead and save that now you can see, the next button down here. Of course, it doesn't do anything when you click it because we haven't hooked it up in JavaScript yet. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and do our, our back button. So sorry to confuse you a moment ago. Let's go ahead and give it an ID of back hyphen button. Now, remember, we are using a back arrow here, which is going to be the and sign, the number sign, and it's going to be 8592, 8592, and a semicolon. When you save that, as you can see here, now you see the back button. <coughs> Ooh, I had to sneeze there. All right, so below the back button, we're going to want to put our info section. So just give a um, uh, info section here. We'll give it a uh, class of info section. And we're going to create a paragraph tag inside of it. And if you remember in the, in the last page here, if we go to our login.html, what we said was, don't have an account yet? sign up for free. Well, we don't really want to put that there because it's not quite as relevant. So what we're going to do is we're going to say already have an account question mark. And then underneath that, we're going to put a link here, which is an A tag or an anchor tag. And we're going to give it an href, which is the location that the user will end up when they click it. And we want to bring them to the login.html page. And we're just going to put the text to say log in exclamation point. And when I save this, now you can see it says already have an account, log in. Now when I click that, it brings me back to the login page. And now when I click the um, sign up for free button on the login page, it brings us to the sign up page, which is great because now we can go back and forth between these without having to do um, anything crazy like the back button. Okay, so as you can see here, what we have is a sign up page. It's got all the inputs we need along with the button, but honestly, all this space at the top is really not necessary yet. We're going to need it um, in the very final video when we're working with JavaScript because we're only going to be dealing with a much smaller container due to the fact that only one input is going to be visible at a time. But for now, it's pretty bad because we have to scroll down. So what I'm going to do is go into the CSS file. And inside of the form container, let's go ahead and remove the, the top. Just comment that out and save. And now we're dealing with a little bit a uh, little bit better of a situation. So when I click login, you can, you can see all of it. You don't have to scroll. Same with sign up. So just go ahead and remember that we have this commented out for now. So what I want to do is I just want to do a little bit of styling here for our um, password requirements. Uh, so when we get there, I just want to make them red. 
uh, make it a little bit more like it seems important like hey you better read this or else it's not gonna work so let's put a uh, dot password requirements we're gonna access that class that we created let's make sure yep class password requirements inside of here we're gonna say color red and the font weight let's make it bold save oh yeah that's way better so th that looks like uh, something you can't you just simply cannot miss you already couldn't miss it but this just is a way to um, kind of make sure that they see it and that it's important so now we are officially done with our sign up page in the next video we're gonna go ahead and get started hooking up the JavaScript and working on making sure that we only view one step at a time and working on the verification of each input thank you very much